How's everybody doing today? This is the 2020 GMC Cyclone. And this video is not at all what you think it's going to be. It's not your typical review, mainly because this thing is fucking hot garbage. Now, why does this truck suck? I'm gonna give you a few points. Uh, number one being, I paid $74,000 for this truck, which most of you would say more money than cents. And I agree. So let's start with the interior. The interior is kind of basic and, and that's okay because it's a cyclone. It is uh, supposed to be a sports truck. This, my friends, is no fucking sports truck. This sports truck was created by SVE Engineering. They're located in Tom's River. The owner's name is Ed Hamburger and their head tuner goes by the name Dave. In my phone, his name is Dave Cyclone. And for all you people dying to see the performance, I am going to insert the zero to 60 into this video so that way you guys can see it for yourself. Now we all know about the original Cyclones and Typhoons. Awesome trucks, literally my favorite. I've wanted one my entire life. And doing zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds, very impressive. Pissing off all sports cars altogether. I did a zero to 60 in this truck and it did hold the phone zero to 60 and 7.2 seconds flat. Oh, sorry. I fell asleep in the middle of that gruesome acceleration. I brought this to both the owner of the company and the head mechanic. And uh, they replied with, well, it's a six cylinder. <laughs> so was the one in 1991, you know, 30 fucking years ago, that was a six cylinder. So you're telling me your tuning capabilities are not up to par with the equipment that we had in the nineties. I already bought the truck. I already bought it from the dealer. They already know the issues that it's been having and they are not going to take the truck back unless I take a huge price cut. With that being said, I tried to work it out with the actual owner of the company. I called him up multiple times, uh, brought it in to get retuned five separate times. It's been retuned to the point where he says there's nothing else he can do for me. The simple fact of the matter is, is that I could pull up to a red light and there could be a 2015 Corolla next to me and he's going to fucking dust me. If I have somebody in the fucking truck with me and I floor it, I... I do this because I got to fucking create the illusion that this is a fast fucking truck. Back to the original story. I buy the truck on the way home. I test drove it. It seemed fine. You know, we were just putting it around town. It seemed fine. It's a brand new truck. I spent 74 grand. It's got a warranty. What's the deal, right? I get halfway home. The hood scoop that they glued on is fucking flailing in the wind. Literally, just about to fly the fuck off the hood scoop because they glued it on, but not all the way. They didn't glue it on all the way. Not enough OEM tape. You know what I mean? 74 grand. You couldn't afford a little bit more OEM tape. Okay. So they knew that had to get fixed. So I brought that, you know, I brought it to the dealer the first time, or not the dealer, the uh, the people that actually created the truck. Brought it to them. Um, they re-glued it. It still was doing that. And then they re-glued it again. So it only took them three times to glue the hood scoop on for it to be Perfect. Now, the truck they used to build the Cyclone is a 2020 GMC Canyon, okay? Now, this truck, brand new, runs for, I don't know, like 38, maybe 40 grand tops if you get everything. So that leaves $34,000 for upgrades. What are the upgrades, you might ask? Special Cyclone floor mats. I kept the plastic on because we want to keep the integrity of this fucking piece of shit. It also has stitched seats. Can't forget the claimed horsepower, 455. Is that bubble gum under there? Probably. This is the company right here. Limited edition, they only made 100 of these. Let's pop the hood, shall we? Oh, hold on, it's jammed because it's a piece of fucking shit. All right, and under here, wow, it looks really clean. Look, they even signed it. Zero to 60 in 7.2 seconds, and you signed this fucking thing? By the way, the stock GMC 2020 Canyon does zero to 60 in seven seconds. So $34,000 for zero performance. We also have the Hamburgers Supercharger that does absolutely fucking nothing. 
And like I said, even if you're not a fucking motorhead, even if I don't know what the fuck all this is, I spent $74,000 on a sports truck that does nothing. So there it is, a $74,000 truck with $34,000 worth of performance upgrades. And yet, it does zero to 60 in the same time as a stock GMC Canyon. The biggest thing is, I already bought the truck. I'm already fucked. Is there anybody, anybody, any tuners that can make this Cyclone fast again? Because that's what I want.